Good morning and welcome to Resilient Still Talks. Today is Saturday, November the 30th, 2019, and it is another beautiful day that the Lord has given us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. God is great all the time and all the time. God is so very great. So today for our next installation from the Restored Woman, this is installation number six. And we are talking about the Samaritan woman, the woman that we know as the woman at the well. So this scripture text is coming from the book of John, chapter four, verses four through 26. At this time of the, of the scripture text, Jesus is in Samaria and he comes across the woman at the well. And he says to the woman, woman, give me drink. The woman says to him, you are a Jew. Jesus still insists that the woman give him the water to drink. And then Jesus starts to talk about a water that once you drink it, you'll never thirst again. Once you drink this water, you will be whole. Once you drink this water, you will never thirst again. And the woman says, tell me more about this water. So Jesus begins to talk about the living water. So the woman says, I would like to have some of this water. So as they continue to talk, and have dialogue. Jesus says, tell your husband to come. Tell your husband. She says, I do not have a husband. And Jesus said, you have five husbands. So Jesus began to tell this woman all that he knew about her. So this woman was convicted by Jesus because Jesus knew all about her. And Jesus had the living water that she desired and Jesus was able to restore her. So the woman left and went out into the land and told everybody that she came across, come see a man who knew everything about me. Come see a man. Come see a man. So that is amazing because that sounds like the first evangelist that went forth after having an encounter with Jesus. Thank you, God. Come see a man who knew everything about me. Come see a man who was able to heal me. Come see a man who did not treat me any different because of what I've done and what I've been through. Come and see a man who was able to restore me regardless of my mistakes. Thank you, Jesus. So she went out and she witnessed to the people and crowds of people came to Christ. Crowds of Samaritan people came to Christ and were saved. They were saved. So by her witness of this man who came to her, who came unto her and asked her for water and told her of the living water, her witness unto them allowed them to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. So our restoration is not just for us. Our restoration has a purpose. God has a plan for our restoration that we let other people know about that man who is able to heal you, who is able to comfort you, who is able to take away the pain, who is able to make you whole again. Come see about a man. So that is our charge to keep, to let people know about our God, to be a light that shines so that other people may know our God, may want to know about our God and glorify him in heaven. Thank you, Jesus. So as I leave you on this last day of November, remain blessed, remain resilient, keep walking and talking with the Lord and share your restoration story. God bless you.